Okay, today we're gonna to be foam rolling your calves. Now, this is a really good one for those who get really tight calf muscles, and they benefit from things like physio and massage and loosen them up, but they're not really getting much from their stretching, and you may be missing the actual massage component, which you can do on a foam roller at home. Now, you need a foam roller that's got enough density in it because you need that sort of force back against the calf, like a physio or massage therapist pushing into the calf. So you need this to be hard, not super hard, but I don't want those soft ones. So it doesn't have to be that long, but maybe a half one, that's fine. But something that's got some density. So these ones like this are quite good for that. Now, traditionally, people just stretch their calves out. And this is maybe something you haven't thought about before about foam rolling in calves. You know, maybe you go get massage, been stretched, you don't foam roll. And I'll show you some really good tips of how I get people foam rolling now in the clinic. So if you imagine when you're stretching, say you're doing a calf stretch like this, long calf stretch for your gastroc, or you're doing maybe a short calf stretch, stretch for your soleus, or maybe you're even doing it on a block, you know, so you lift up your foot and dorsiflexion to get a stretch out. Now that's stretching the calf long way, so it's lengthening that calf, but sometimes it doesn't get enough for those little knots. That's why massage works so well. So if you can't get the massage service, maybe you're in lockdown, maybe you can't get the physio, maybe they're too far away, maybe you wanna do this stuff every second day then you get in and do it on the foam roller. Now, traditionally, people started doing foam rolling like this, where they lift their body and just roll up and down really fast. I don't find that's very effective. What I like to do, and here's the tip that you probably haven't thought about, is you get the weight of your leg on that foam roller, okay? And what I would do is start it right up at the top of the calf, because what the trick is, is you're going to push the roller down with the other foot. Okay, so in this position, if I just sort of go this way for you, you can sort of see me on an angle, see what's happening here, is if you look at that, if I keep my knee straight, I'm gonna work on my gastroc, okay? Because the gastroc hooks up into above the tibia, okay? So I've gotta keep my knee straight, and I wanna dorsiflex my foot, and I'll come to dorsiflex in a minute. But the first thing you wanna do, just to get a generalized stretch on this, is to have that other foot on the roller really close to that, and you just slowly push the roller down and you roll the roller on your foot, okay? And this roller just slowly rolls down. Now the weight of my leg is usually enough to get that pressure on. So this is a really slow, generalized massage onto that calf. Now it looks pretty boring, pretty slow, but it's really, really effective in getting those trigger points, those knots, looser and you just go all the way down and so you spend a lot of time just working on rolling that down now the good thing about this is you'll be able to find spots and maybe sit on them you can always roll inwards on that leg to get your medial gastroc to get in there you might even have to go quite a bit further and then just push that roller down so the roller moving on the leg is like a massage therapist's hands moving on the hand rather than you moving on the roller we're actually sort of trying to mimic as much as we can of what a therapist would do. And of course, you can then go on the lateral gastroc. The beauty also is you can go right over onto the perineals. And this is sometimes really good for those little perineal muscles, especially way at the top where you're getting knots. Maybe you're a runner and you get a lot of these little knots from the way your foot moves. And just get in there and move that down. Now, the other thing you can do while you're rolling that and pushing that down really slowly, I don't mean fast, I mean slow, is you then can plantar flex and dorsiflex the foot. You can also invert and evert the foot. So you can do this work on getting that muscle back and forth as you go over it, which is an extra benefit to try and get some loosening through the tissues. And you'll find that if you've got a bit of a stiff ankle, this is really good as well. So it's not just for loosening the calf and the perineals and all those sort of muscles. You can actually get loosening in the ankle through moving that foot in directions like dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, even, even the circles while you're doing the roller. Because sometimes people who have, say, a post ankle sprain that have had a really stiff ankle is that the muscles up the leg are also stiff as well, and that limits some of the movement. And so some of that sort of loss of range can come from actually soft tissues up the leg. So if you can work on that, you may find your dorsiflexion improves, and that may help people with some calf or ankle problems that they're having when they are playing sport or running or getting around. So there's my little tip for today. 
really good for those post Achilles ones as well who, you know, if, if they're not allowed to do an aggressive stretching, so if you've had an Achilles surgery or you've had an Achilles rupture and you've come out of the boot and the calf is just horrific, then you can try and work on some foam roller work in the calf, especially going back and forth, which doesn't even affect the Achilles. You're not stretching the Achilles at all. We're not, we're just staying away from that. They can do their active ankle range of movement work like this, okay, up and down while they're on the calf. And so they can get that calf work done that previously maybe they could only get done once a week at the therapist. So it's not replacing, of course, physio massage. It's just to help you another exercise at home that you can work on to try and really help you through that week. Just like stretching, it's just a different form of stretching. Think of this as sort of like a cross-sectional or oblique way of stretching, where it's the stretching against the wall or on a step, it's a longitudinal. There's my tip for today. See you next time.